Amino acyl tRNA synthetase, Wikipedia article audio. An amino acyl ternus synthetase, also called ternoligase, is an enzyme that attaches the appropriate amino acid onto its tRNA. It does so by catalyzing the esterification of a specific cognate amino acid or its precursor to one of all its compatible cognate ternus to form an amino acyl terna. In humans, the 20 different types of AA terna are made by the 20 different amino acyl terna synthetases, one for each amino acid of the genetic code. This is sometimes called charging or loading the tRNA with the amino acid. Once the tRNA is charged, a ribosome can transfer the amino acid from the tRNA onto a growing peptide, according to the genetic code. Amino acyl tRNA therefore plays an important role in RNA translation, the expression of genes to create proteins. Mechanism Classes As genetic efficiency evolved in higher organisms, 13 new domains with no obvious association with the catalytic activity of ARSA's genes have been added. The synthetase first binds ADP and the corresponding amino acid to form an amino acyl adenylate, releasing inorganic pyrophosphate. The adenylatars complex then binds the appropriate tRNA molecules D-arm, and the amino acid is transferred from the AA amp to either the 2 or the 3O of the last tRNA nucleotide at the 3 end. The mechanism can be summarized in the following reaction series. Summing the reactions, the highly exergonic overall reaction is as follows. Some synthetases also mediate a editing reaction to ensure high fidelity of tRNA charging. If the incorrect tRNA is added, the amino acyl terna bond is hydrolyzed. This can happen when two amino acids have different properties even if they have similar shapes as is the case with valine and threonine. Structures the accuracy of amino acyl ternus synthetase is so high that it is often paired with the word superspecificity when it is compared to other enzymes that are involved in metabolism. Although not all synthetases have a domain with the sole purpose of editing, they make up for it by having specific binding and activation of their affiliated amino acids. Another contribution to the accuracy of these synthetases is the ratio of concentrations of amino acyl ternus synthetase and its cognate tRNA. Since tRNA synthetase improperly acylates the tRNA when the synthetase is overproduced, a limit must exist on the levels of ARSAs and ternus in vivo. There are two classes of amino acyl tRNA synthetase, each composed of 10 enzymes. Evolution The amino acids are attached to the hydroxyl group of the adenosine via the carboxyl group. Regardless of where the amino acyl is initially attached to the nucleotide, the 2O amino acyl terna will ultimately migrate to the 3 position via transesterification. Both classes of amino acyl terna synthetases are multi-domain proteins. In a typical scenario, an ARS consists of a catalytic domain and an anticodon binding domain. In addition, some ARSs have additional RNA binding domains and editing domains that cleave incorrectly paired amino acyl terna molecules. Application in Biotechnology The catalytic domains of all the ARSs of a given class are found to be homologous to one another whereas class I and class II ARSAs are unrelated to one another. The class I ARSAs have the ubiquitous Rossmann fold and have the parallel beta strands architecture, whereas the class II ARSAs have a unique fold made up of antiparallel beta strands. Non-catalytic domains 
the alpha helical anticodon binding domain of arginyl, GLYCYL, and cysteine synthetases is known as the DALR domain after characteristic conserved amino acids. Prediction servers Amino acylternous synthetases have been kinetically studied, showing that Mg2 plus ions play an active catalytic role and therefore Rs have a degree of magnesium dependence. Increasing the Mg2 plus concentration leads to an increase in the equilibrium constants for the amino acylternous synthetases reactions. Although this trend was seen in both class I and class II synthetases, the magnesium dependence for the two classes are very distinct. Class II synthetases have two or three Mg2 plus ions, while class I only requires one Mg2 plus ion. Most of the Rs of a given specificity are evolutionarily closer to one another than to Rs of another specificity. However, ASNRS and GLNRS group within ASPRS and GLURS, respectively. Most of the Rs of a given specificity also belong to a single class. However, there are two distinct versions of the LIS RS, one belonging to the class I family and the other belonging to the class II family. The molecular phylogenies of ARSAs are often not consistent with accepted organismal phylogenies. That is, they violate the so-called canonical phylogenetic pattern shown by most other enzymes for the three domains of life, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. Furthermore, the phylogenies inferred for ARSAs of different amino acids often do not agree with one another. In addition, Rs paralogs within the same species show a high degree of divergence between them. These are clear indications that horizontal transfer has occurred several times during the evolutionary history of Rs. A widespread belief in the evolutionary stability of this superfamily, meaning that every organism has all the Rs for their corresponding amino acids is misconceived. A large-scale genomic analysis on 2,500 prokaryotic genomes showed that many of them miss one or more Rs genes whereas many genomes have one or more paralogs. All RS, GLYRS, LEURS, ILRS, and VALRS are the most evolutionarily stable members of the family. GLURS, LISRS, and CISRS often have paralogs whereas ASNRS, GLNRS, PYLRS and SEPRS are often absent from many genomes. With the exception of all RS, it has been discovered that 19 out of the 20 human Rs have added at least one new domain or motif. These new domains and motifs vary in function and are observed in various forms of life. A common novel function within human Rs is providing additional regulation of biological processes. There exists a theory that the increasing number of Rs that add domains is due to the continuous evolution of higher organisms with more complex and efficient building blocks and biological mechanisms. One key piece of evidence to this theory is that after a new domain is added to an Rs, the domain becomes fully integrated. This new domain's functionality is conserved from that point on. In some of the amino acyl tRNA synthetases, the cavity that holds the amino acid can be mutated and modified to carry unnatural amino acids synthesized in the lab, and to attach them to specific ternas. This expands the genetic code, beyond the 20 canonical amino acids found in nature to include an unnatural amino acid as well. The unnatural amino acid is coded by a nonsense triplet, a quadruplet codon, or in some cases a redundant rare codon. 
the organism that expresses the mutant synthetase can then be genetically programmed to incorporate the unnatural amino acid into any desired position in any protein of interest, allowing biochemists or structural biologists to probe or change the protein's function. For instance, one can start with the gene for a protein that binds a certain sequence of DNA, and, by directing an unnatural amino acid with a reactive side chain into the binding site, create a new protein that cuts the DNA at the target sequence, rather than binding it. By mutating amino acyl tRNA synthetases, chemists have expanded the genetic codes of various organisms to include lab synthesized amino acids with all kinds of useful properties, photoreactive, metal chelating, xenon chelating, cross-linking, spin resonant, fluorescent, biodinylated, and redox active amino acids. Another use is introducing amino acids bearing reactive functional groups for chemically modifying the target protein. Certain diseases causation have been correlated to specific mutations of amino acylternous synthetases. Charcot-Marie Tooth is the most frequent heritable disorder of the peripheral nervous system and is caused by a heritable mutation in glycolterna and tyrosilterna. Diabetes, a metabolic disease, induces oxidative stress, which triggers a buildup of mitochondrial tRNA mutations. It has also been discovered that tRNA synthetases may be partially involved in the etiology of cancer. A high level of expression or modification of ARSAs has been observed within a range of cancers. A common outcome from mutations of ARSAs is a disturbance of dimer shape slash formation which has a direct relationship with its function. These correlations between ARSAs and certain diseases have opened up a new door to synthesizing therapeutics. The novel domain additions to ARS genes are accretive and progressive up the tree of life. The strong evolutionary pressure for these small non-catalytic protein domains suggested their importance. Findings beginning in 1999 and later revealed a previously unrecognized layer of biology, these proteins control gene expression within the cell of origin and when released exert homeostatic and developmental control in specific human cell types, tissues, and organs during adult or fetal development or both, including pathways associated with angiogenesis, inflammation, the immune response, the mechanistic target of rapamycin signaling, apoptosis, tumorigenesis, and interferon gamma and p53. Signaling Amino acid and tRNA and ADP amino acylterna and AMP and PPI. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFAM and Interpro IPR 015273. This article incorporates text from the public domain PFAM and Interpro IPR 008909. Class I has two highly conserved sequence motifs. It amino acylates at the 2O of a terminal adenosine nucleotide on tRNA, and it is usually monomeric or dimeric. Class II has three highly conserved sequence motifs. It amino acylates at the 3O of a terminal adenosine on tRNA, and is usually dimeric or tetrameric. Although phenylalanine synthetase is class II, it amino acylates at the 2O.